Hi, this is Shadi. Now, this video I wanted to do for quite some time now. It's about Judo and Wing Chun. Wing Chun is a very pleasant art to watch, in my opinion, and it is quite rich in its economy of movement, so to speak. But there is a little bit of grappling that I wanted to see and really share with you and also how did they get to it usually when i compare two arts it's usually how they get to the same technique again the human body is the same everywhere and they all get to the te same techniques eventually but what's interesting is how they get there and also the fact that wing chun is a striking art it's nice to see how they actually get to it so the first one here as he kicks and the guy goes to the side he actually puts himself in a very good position for O Sotogari and you see here he pushes against the chest and rapes away with the foot this is the basic form of O Sotogari but since there is no jacket he just pushes on the chest while raping the leg away creating like a wheel motion with his hand and foot it's an interesting entry and also interesting execution now here um, it's protecting against I believe a joint locks so someone can actually grab your arm and go behind you so they do take into consideration everything whether someone is trying to grab you or doing like a haymaker or anything so this is very basic joint lock where you get the arm behind the back and then you press upward against the shoulder here is Mitsuyo Maeda doing it when disarming knives and guns now this next one is from an attack from behind i will leave a link in the description below for this series it's quite interesting to watch so a bear hug from the back you strike the groin with open palms and then it looks like a very shallow seoinage but here is a more prominent form so someone strikes with like a hammer fist intercept it and then with one arm on two arms on one arm throws with Serenage very reminiscent of Inoue with his sleeve Serenage here he pushes against the inside of the elbow and drops down loading on the back let's see it here this is from the 2000 Olympics now again uh, very classic judo is when someone strikes you take the arm and then throw with Seo Nage. this is the second technique in Nage no Kata I've discussed this multiple times but here you see from the choreographed uh, fight uh, nonetheless you can still see some technical excellence granted it is choreographed but still the stuff can actually uh, work I do believe that there is a place for them it's just a matter of how you practice and how much resistance you have in your training now here against the multiple attackers granted it's a bit choreographed the others are waiting and um, it's not so much but here notice the inner reap that he does before he goes into the next opponent so i've seen uh, many videos but i could not find them again but i've seen also ko sotogari not just ko uchigari and also uh, foot sweeps but here it's what he done what he does is reap away to the side while taking away the ankle and pushing against them in order to put them down there's also this that you can do easily um, the kicks are low and the reaps are also very low so um, uh, judo's ashiwaza can be a very good complementary to wing chun in my opinion but uh, again we're here to see how they enter the same techniques without the jacket and with striking involved now next i've discussed joint locks in kung fu before china uh, i made a whole video about it but here it can be also in the wing chun system this is uh, from the global wing chun academy and you see how it alternates between uh, wrist locks they can all be found within judo so here this is the elbow lock and then from it he goes into the kotegaishi or the wrist twist 
also found in Aikido and old Jujutsu. And from there he switches into the Sankyo, which is the third technique of Aikido. It's also an inverted wrist lock. It can put someone on their toes. Highly effective and it's very painful. And finally here into Nikyo or the second technique in Aikido. And also another very painful wrist lock if you truly know how to do it. And here it is the wrist lock that I've always shown when it comes to arresting someone and taking them uh, away. So here is the first one, which is Kote Gaishi. You take the fingers into the inside of their forearm, bending their wrist. And Sankyo is another one here. If you've done Aikido or tried this wrist lock, you know how much it hurts and it puts you on your toes and it's very painful. And finally, this one here, Nikyo, also very painful. It can easily put you on your knees. It is not a joke. Again, if you know how to do it and you've trained with the right resistance, you can also use it to pin someone to the ground. And now, finally, there's a lot of criticism when it comes to Wing Chun. Does it work? It's, it's uh, just choreographed. It doesn't work. You can find some type of competitions for it. Like here, for example, um, Sticky Hands competition. Um, this is from Russia, I believe, and what they're doing is they have to constantly maintain contact and strike and kick and sweep. But as soon as they uh, lose contact, I believe, that creates some distance, the, the match is restarted for some reason. Now, again, every style has their rules um, in order to keep the fighter safe and also create a unique expression. This is not uncommon with other arts. Every art has this very weird aspect where you're going to say that this does not work like BJJ and they're constantly dropping down to their butts and sitting down and approaching you. Every art can be critiqued, but the fact that they're providing resistance and their own expression and, you know, competitions, it's always welcomed on my part. Now, does it carry over well to MMA or self-defense? I don't really know. Um, there is a lot of arts that do not carry over into MMA, yet they are absolutely monstrous. But uh, not everything has to go into MMA. It's not the end-all be-all. Uh, so can this work? I'm sure if you've experienced enough resistance and you've trained your technique well enough, you can come up against someone, especially in the close range. I'm sure you can do quite a lot. So if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. Consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content, also to keep this content growing and evolving. This was Shady, and thank you for listening.